Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today I have fantastic news. I will present my top altcoin gems, low and high market cap and low and high risk as well. So stay tuned guys and watch the video. Of course, I will do a mini technical analysis on the weekly frame. If you like the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button and share. Thank you so much already for your support. And now let's go quickly to our first and the biggest one, the Ethereum. Right now, as you can see here, guys, we formed new higher highs, new higher lows. We are on the weekly frame Ethereum against Bitcoin. Okay, in the, against USD, we formed new all time highs for Ethereum, as you know, but against Bitcoin, we are still pretty, pretty low. We have some huge room to breathe. And right now, you can see after forming this top trend, the bottom trend line for Ethereum, we broke this top trend line back on two, on July and right now we are looking for new higher lows, new higher highs. It's looking still pretty, 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 very, very good guys. And of course, I trust Ethereum for 2021 and for more years to come. So right now, let's go to link, chain link against USD in the weekly frame. You can see here guys, we maintain this support line hitting all time high here and I expect this to go even further, I expect Chainlink to go even further from where it is right now, breaking this resistance point here and of course booming. I don't know when, when it will do that, it might be May, June or, or April. I think that all of these altcoins, guys, you should hold. You should not, of course, do it for the short term. I'm not doing a short-term price analysis, I'm doing a long-term and macro perspective in it. So right now Chainlink is, go, is doing fantastic and look at where it was back at 16th March, USD 1.51 USD guys. Of course, if you bought here and you still hodl, you have excellent profits and in my opinion, you should hodl this coin for a lot of more. Right now, let's go to our number three Polkadot guys. Polkadot it's still amazing, you can see here, forming new higher lows, new higher lows here and consolidating for a bit when we have the new all time highs then going upwards, consolidating for a bit. This is pretty, pretty fantastic and we shouldn't even worry for, of course, Polkadot against USD. I don't think it will remove Ethereum from the scene. It is different technology, but I think they will go Along. I don't think Ethereum will just go backwards because Polkadot will do fantastic. I, thought, I think both of these altcoins will do fantastic. So I think that Polkadot is going to hit new all time high again in 2021. You, we will see about that. But I am pretty, pretty excited about this and I, I hold Polkadot. Okay, so for 2021 and more. So right now, let's go to a number for eight against Bitcoin. As you know, we are already far away. We are heading, of course, to this resistance point. And I think here, if we zoom in, in the weekly frame, add against Bitcoin, we will see that we are forming this top and low, higher, low, uh, lower high, sorry, and higher lows. We are forming this trend here that we might see it going back to the top of at by the end of the April, guys, it is forming like a stable coin. I know that it is going around 1.30 USD. I don't know the exact price right now, but of course, the better days are coming for Ada, and I strongly believe and I will hold this coin. Let's go now to our five number five, I think, guys, which is now okay. So you can see here we break through this major resistance point. The AMACD is above the signal line, the orange line here, and we broke this resistance point, which means I think after this much consolidation, I think that it will do fantastic and will break above. So if you want to hold this coin, look at this. We had this consolidation making new lower highs. Then we consolidate for a bit going there. And of course, when we have this squeeze point, this uh, small candles, we want to buy because for the long term, especially because the lower the volatility, look at this. And if it is a good project, then it will surely pump up 
quite some time uh, ahead of us. Okay, in the future it will surely pump up. So you can see here it went above and I think it still has more room to breathe. We are in the USD valuation, of course. Let's go to the NAS. Uh, we can see here the market cap. It sits at 150 million market caps, including supply 100 million and the dollar price 1.33. USD. If we multiply the circulating supply with the dollar, you get the market cap. Still pretty cheap, right, guys? It is very, very good. But now let's go to our number six, Loom Network. So right now, guys, you can see we surpassed this resistance level. We are from this U letter here that we might see again exploding and going above this major, the next one major, I think, resistance line sitting at zero point. 29 USD around there, 20, 0.29 cents. Sorry, guys. So, right now we will break above, we might break above this line, and I think Loom Network might do pretty, pretty, pretty solid and might do pretty, pretty good. Okay, so right now we need to see it going upwards again from this line here after it from the support line. We are on the weekly frame, of course, and let's see the market cap. 200 million market cap, 100 billion loom in circulating supply and of course 0 0.19 cents its current price but it is still very cheap we are talking about the long term and now let's go to an altcoin that I believe it will explode during 2021 DHD DHD guys of course it will do fantastic I think look at the daily frame it is always making new all-time highs and of course right now I think it will do fantastic it sits at a very good price for its market cap I won't go too much into this technical analysis because I think in the macro perspective it will do pretty pretty solid and will do absolutely great you can see here the market cap just 42 million dollars and the circulating supply 10 million 4.23 in usd okay so right now i think it's still cheap market cap is still cheap it can always go upwards of course it has very good potential and i think it will do fantastic let's go to our next one i don't remember uh okay the number guys but let's go to ontology right now we need to surpass this level at the weekly frame ontology against usd we need to surpass this level here at around 0.23 in usd and of course i think better days are coming for ontology look at that we are not even close to the top for the usd valuation and i think forming this new candles here new bullish candles we might see a bit of sideways here situation but we will break soon i think the resistance level and we will go upwards again so right now i think it has a great future ontology has a great future let's go now to coin gecko and the market cap you can see here 1.500 billion uh, market cap and circulating supply 800 million and of course the dollar valuation is 1.80 6 usd it is still cheap guys and i think it has great potential for 2021 and not only 2021 right now let's go to our next one secret network here if you want to be secret in a new internet okay you can invest here in the secret network <clears throat> So right now, excuse me guys, so right now we see this bearish candle, but on the weekly frame, look at that guys, it is absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic, you can see here how it moves upwards on the weekly frame as well, and I think it will expect it to hit new all time guys soon, and by the 2001 it will do fantastic, secret network guys, 255 million market cap, and of course, circulating supply six uh, five hundred million circulating supply three point sixty two USD. It has such a room to grow, and I think it is a great project, new internet. And of course, you can't be secret with developing smart contracts or whatever you like there, uh, uh, apps or whatever you want to build secretly and of course decentralized. Okay, so right now let's go to Vesper Finance, VSP against USDT guys, as you can see I won't stay here for long because we consolidate a bit for now, but of course this is for long term and let's go 
quickly for the Vesper Finance to, so you can grow your portfolio easily. This project is very, very good. 160 million market cap, circulating supply, 200 million, and of course, $45 in valuation. It is very, very good. It looks very, very strong, guys, for the future. And holding this coin will grow your portfolio. I think it is absolutely perfect. Let's go to our next pre-search, guys. Pre-search is a search engine like Google. You can have it as an extension. I got mine. And of course, I trust this coin a lot. I believe this resistance level at 0.13 cents we will soon hit it and break it above. It is a great, great project for the future, not even near the previous valuation for pre-search. I think it is very, very good, but I think people will need to notice this coin. Right now, it sits only at 41 million market cap, close to the DHT, and right now, circulating supply 400 million and 0.10 USD cents valuation. Of course, I think it has still room to grow, of course. And for the last one, stacks here, guys. Stacks, of course, I think we will make new higher highs and we are going to see it exploding by the 2021 or more. Stacks is a great project. It has huge potential. And of course, always remember the lower the market cap, the higher the potential it can go if it is a good, great project and the higher the profits you can take. But of course, we got some higher risks in the lower market cap. So right now, I trust tax a lot. And let's go to our market cap, $2 billion market cap, circulating supply, $1 billion and 2.03 US devaluation right now. I think Stax is doing great and I think it will do fantastic in the next upcoming years. So that's it, guys. Let me say one more word. That's it for today. But of course, I will make new video of showing some new altcoin gems that I think they will do fantastic. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are and see you soon with more videos. Bye.